Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. Just came in today to do a reality show roundup. The first one up, as you can see, is Miss Jocelyn. And uh, Jocelyn may have told more lies. Now, we know Jocelyn has been on one this season, but there's been some information that came out about her. Now, in this mugshot, as you can see, um, it says that she was 25, and that was in 2003. So if she was 25 in 2003, that would make her 38 today. In this next mugshot, it says that she was 30 in 2007. If that's the case, that would make her about 39 today and then also there was a document out about a marriage that Jocelyn had in 1997 now in 1997 on that marriage certificate I know it doesn't show on there but it says that she was 21 years old if that's the case that would make Jocelyn about 39 or 40 now now we know that all during the show Jocelyn has been saying that she's only 29 years old. I think that Miss Jocelyn may have been lying about her age. Now I'm not sure if she's almost 40 but these records and these are court documents are definitely not saying she's 29. Now we also know Jocelyn has been you know all on Instagram and Twitter you know showing her belly saying that she's pregnant but then poof a week later Jocelyn has a completely flat stomach Jocelyn is confused or has a plan up her sleeve that she's gonna expose uh, at the reunion because why is she doing all of this you know why did she lie about pretty much everything about her and also did Mona know all of this because I'm pretty sure that you know when you have an employee which Jocelyn is a an employee of that show you have to give like your social security number and your ID you know where you know how when you go to a new job they ask for those two things when she gave those to Mona what age did it say on it you know now we all know that her name is this Chanelica Benincourt and all of these documents show that so I'm wondering if this is something else that they will talk about on the reunion show I'm telling y'all this reunion show is gonna be epic with all of this stuff coming out Ciao, I think this is going to be the best reunion show that Love & Hip Hop Atlanta has had. I can't wait to see it. The next ones up are Tammy and Waka. Now we know on the show Tammy is saying that uh, they are separating. Um, you know on this last show uh, we watched Bambi and her talk about her moving out the house. Well it's been a little information that came out and I don't know how true this is um, you know Waka has been all on Instagram and Twitter saying that he's gonna try to do better and that he wants to hold on to his family well it turns out that maybe there might be an addition to the family um, there's been some post of Waka uh, showing pictures of Tammy with the little baby bump so I'm wondering is Tammy pregnant and maybe that's the reason that Waka is saying that he wants to try you know on the show even though I wasn't that interested in them you know hey it's black love and you hope that he can get himself together and they can try to strengthen their marriage so you know they don't lose it so if Tammy is pregnant you know again I don't know how true this is but if she's pregnant I hope even more that they are 
able to work it out because you know you don't want the child his first child and you know a child that it seems like she really wanted to grow up without their father in the home so for that I hope that if she is pregnant he can mend his wicked ways and try to be the best husband and the best father that he can be and with that everyone thanks for watching my video and you guys have a great day bye bye